welcome back. As I said earlier, that little bit of a nightmare. But I'm here and I'm fishing, that's all three rods out. I've cut the lines on that left hand rod already. Like I say, I'm back in swim 10. So I'm fishing that snag. I've got the middle rod is 12 wraps out on a four foot zig. Only because it is an absolute bouting day out there. It is lovely. It is beautiful. The sun is out. Fish are probably going to be up in the layers. I have got surface gear with me just in case they do decide to start taking. You never know. Spring is here. And uh, yeah, that right hand rod, I've got that over to the islands where I had a couple of fish from previously. But yeah, like I say, it's, it's looking good. It's looking promising. I've got less than 24 hours, which is a bit annoying. But um, I haven't actually seen any fish down there now. But the water level drops so much, like literally, I'll show you in a little bit, it, it's looking absolutely fantastic out there. It's just, it's just nice to not have to wear welly boots or waders all the time, you know what I mean? I've got my normal boots on, my fishing boots. But yeah. Anyway, I'll keep you updated, I'll keep you posted and let you know how I'll get on. Hopefully, uh, I'll nick a few fish. That's what we're here for. You know what I mean? So, yeah, stay tuned. That's it. There's all three rods out. Left hand rod is down in the snag. Middle rod is 12 wraps out on a four foot zig. And that right hand rod is tight to that island over there. So, let's see what happens then. So, I just had to redo that right hand rod. Swans came in and wiped it out. So that's back out there. Topped up a little bit more bait. Hopefully it goes, hopefully it goes. But like I said, that water's dropped really low at the back there. I don't think it's going to be at that height, I'm not, I'm not sure. It's really, really low, the whole way around the lake to be fair. Swam straight into the bottom of the bottom of the Drop back down. It is really slack. Locked up quite tight. Come on. Right, we're going now. Actually, this one's gone over there and smashed the bottom off a little bit, and fish have obviously moved in. One of them's got to go. One of them's got to go. <laughs> well, I didn't want to fish for three rods anyway. Who does? You know what I mean? So that's one of my uh, alarms just packed up. And the zig rod. Thought I had a screaming tape. Literally. <laughs> oh man. I would give up. Oh, we all have them, don't we? Jesus Christ. Something was telling me not to fish today. Something was telling me not to fish today. No hooks. Now this. What else can possibly go wrong when everything goes wrong? No fish. Can't see any fish moving around. And smash bits by barrets. That's about it. I was just smashing them down there then. Oh. God, what can I do? I'm literally down to two rods because my alarm is actually packed up, it's not working whatsoever. I've tried everything to try and get it going. It's just not, I've changed the battery, I've tried everything. It's just packed up. But just what do you want? Happy days. <laughs> oh, positive, I think positive. Apart from that barry keep going down on me over there. It, just to start the swim. Yeah! Well, just as the weatherman promised, we got the drizzle. The pressure's dropping. Let's get the drop now. That's what the pressure is looking like for the next. Until I finish anyway. 8 am, I've got to be off tomorrow. And um, 
Yeah, I had a little bit of a take on that left hand rod, bobbing pulled up tight, dropped back down, pulled up again, hit into it on nothing there. So I don't know what that was. Guys opposite, they've had a couple out now I've seen. Don't know what's happening. Just stuck the kettle on. Been a bit uh bit cheeky with the old uh, lunch today. Ugh. Not my uh, go-to preference, like most of these uh, anglers that you see. Definitely not my cup of tea. But, you know, it's lunch. But wait till you see what I've got for dinner. Yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. Bring on the dinner time. Great Grest of Greaves back down there again. Go away. These birds are just on me today. What's going on? I didn't think they are. I'll bet you. I thought they went for fish. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, um, I've got two of them down there. Two of them. Two of them. It's just what you need. But yeah, I, I couldn't get that alarm working. I've had another play around with it, so that's obviously done for. I have to get myself a new one, won't I? Right, kettle's boiled, so. That's the latest. Half past one now, it's just uh, very, very quiet. Oh, I'm down to two rods, as I said. Mm, not happy, not happy. Can't believe the arm packed up. I've tried everything. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's a fish with two rods, isn't it? It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Kind of is, but it's not. You know what I mean? Finally off the mark. 19 pound on the dot. What a cracking looking mirror. That was that left arm rod. Just over to that snag over there. And get still shot and get this one popped back. Happy days. So yeah, off the mark finally. But what I've done, I keep getting smashed to bits by the bloody swans on that right arm rod. So, where I was fishing, it was quite shallow. The other day, obviously, where the water was up so high, I didn't realise how shallow it really was. But, it must have been a lot deeper when the water was higher. <laughs> but yeah, no, so what I've done, I've pulled it more to the left. There's a there's an overhang over there. I didn't want to get too close to that the other day because I didn't know what it was like underneath. But it seems to be pretty clear from what I can see now that the water's dropped. So what I've done, I've not gone too, too close to it, but I've gone pretty close to it and I've pulled away from the island probably half a rod length maybe a rod length off the island now I'm not too close I'm still on a hard bottom over there as well which is good put a little bit more bait over there I've been catapulting bait over there as well to be fair just get a little bit of noise over there just give a little bit of disturbance on the water like but that rod hasn't gone but I said this last time and that rod always seems to nick a fish so hopefully it can produce. There it goes. Weirdly enough, <laughs> that rod is not gone, and it's literally just gone. Then it's crazy. Oh, and there's no swans over there now, which is good. <laughs> but I did put a little bag on it as well. So every time I seem to put a bag on lately, I get a bream. But I've, I haven't been bothered by any of them today, and hopefully I don't. So, oh to see what happens sort of say but yeah I've had one I've had one I'm just happy happy I've had one more than anything obviously it's been a real tough day it's been a really um, annoying day but yeah I'll keep you posted because I've got a phone call <laughs> number two a little bitty mirror but Happy days, it's number two, that's all that matters. Run me right around that tree. Done me proper that one. <laughs> but, put it in, that's the main thing. I am pretty goddamn sure every time I fish broadens lately, it rains. Why has it always got to rain on me? Mm. 
Now it is meant to stop. It's meant to stop come seven o'clock. Eight, I think. Half seven, eight, I think it said. And it's not going to start again till nine o'clock tomorrow morning. So hopefully that pans out and uh, I'll be off at eight. So mm, let's see what happens. Well, it is an update video. Redone both them rods just before the darkness crept in. Just uh, freshened everything up and topped up with a little bit of bait. Put them both back out in the same spots. Nothing's happened. Got a little bit wet doing that, so I did close one of these doors over on the cabin, but uh, I dropped the PVC windbreak that they put on the front here. It's clear so you can see how does help actually, it keeps them warmth in. Uh, the kettle going, so the stove's been on, but everything is safe because vent up there, and like I say, it's not completely flush. A half foot gap either side of the PVC, plus there is a like, CO2 alarm up there just in case. So everything is safe, which is nice. But yeah, coffee's made, and uh, like I say, everything is. Uh, just waiting for another bite. Just waiting for another bite. Not really heard anything. Not seen anything throughout the day. Obviously, I've done two fish, but I haven't, there have been no like positive shows or anything like that. There's nothing to go to. There's nothing to fish to. That island rod's not gone at all. Cut a little line. Actually, yeah, it did go. Yeah, it did go. That's a lot. It did go. Bob and pulled up tight and then dropped back down. So whether that was something swimming into the line, because it is out to the island, it wasn't an actual take, uh, but it has gone. Apart from that, it's been very quiet. That left down rod's been really quiet. But hopefully, it does pick up either throughout the night or first light. But we will see. But yeah. Keep you updated and uh, catch you later. Well, good morning. It's now first light. Still need the lights on now. Still out the dark. But yeah, nothing happened through the night. I've not got long. It's about two and a half, three hours left to go, and I've got to be off. So I left that rod on a couple of times with a few liners. Didn't even touch on that right hand rod to what I've done. Put that boat and rod in. Oh. <laughs> After the 12 wraps out, where I found that um, clear spot yesterday. I'm hoping something happens between now and then. Just make the coffee, so I'm gonna uh, leave it at that. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Days. So that right arm rod decided to go. So I said I put a little bag on it and then this little beauty so I'm going to tear off. So come in. 21 pound 11. So happy days. Pleased with that one. What way to end the session because I've literally got about an hour left now and then I've got to pack up. I'll show you the other side quick. session can't believe that rod went again but didn't come with anything I'll start getting everything packed down now it goes again it goes again if not I'll catch up with you shortly and let you know what happens well that is it from me 
24 hours. Unfortunately, still no 30, so it will continue. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens on the next one. Hopefully, I can nick one then.